Are you saying it can't be stopped? It can, but not from here. I just need more time. Time is a rare commodity, I'm afraid. Choice, even more so. We'll help you prepare an expert. It is here. Brotherhood of Dawn and your friend. Leave, leave now if you are to save anything. There's a battle nearby. Dead soldiers. It must be where the purifiers caught up with the Brotherhood fugitives. Valeria should have been with them. Yep, she definitely was. Malis didn't stand a chance against Val. I'm on the right track. Wildlings territory. The echoes of battle are coming from here. Wildlings camp. Let's carve our own path through it. We're not letting those fugitives get away. Purity and sacrifice. No prisoners. Yes, just the car. <laughs>
purifies the hitting that's water in his heart.
that's not happening.
the Sleeper is allied with those wildlings. I better stop those spellcasters. Kill the intruder. Brother, is that you? Valeria! Yes, mop the floor with the bastards! have grown you know that one yeah we go way back my my you're one hard girl to find you know that i don't know about that malus found me yeah i saw her body in the way here you're the one that took her armor you're scavenging bodies now if the republic wants to paint me as a traitor i may as well play the part Plus, I fancy myself a Justicar now that I took the wench's armor. What's the deal with these guys? They've got no problem with your origin? As far as I know, Daybreakers and Purifiers aren't best buddies. We all have bigger things on our hands. We didn't really have time to bicker about it. Their Eos is pretty reasonable. Their Eos? You know, an Eos, like, um, an Inquisitor of theirs. Eos Ganez leads that group nearby in what they call the Vault of Hope. Fine. And how did you end up behind that wall of shadows? Brotherhood of Dawn scouts spotted a warband of these wildlings headed towards their position. As the Daybreakers helped me get out of the Republic's grasp, I had to fight with them against these invading shadow worshippers. Let me guess. This shadow wall is what came out of it. Uh, this means trouble. It might be the first step of something bigger. This spell traps us on this position. Any idea why the wildlings would attack? To be honest... I'm not even sure it was the Wildlings Initiative. The cultist you just killed was leading their ritual, and he was definitely not part of their tribe. Another power is at work. I've seen men like this before. This one belonged to the Cult of the Sleeper, Necromancers. Oh no. What is it? An attack. Everyone, back to the camp! Our brethren need us! One with the light! One with the light! This isn't good. A pincer attack? Seems like it. This shadow wall blocks the only valid escape route from their camp. Whatever's attacking is going for the throat. You guys are trapped. I must find a way to break this wall. That would be most appreciated. I'll help them man the defenses. You find a way through. Val, don't you bloody die. I'm serious. Surrounded by daybreakers in their hold might be the safest place in this Vale right now. I'll manage. I know. Just don't. Don't be you, okay? Play it safe for once. I'll do my best. Okay. How do you cross the uncrossable? You're alive. My sister. My sister. She was detained by Mercy, the leader of my tribe. Tell her what he did to me. What about you? There's nothing you can do to save me now. Hurry and find Zima. Save her. It's not like I have any other leads. All right, I will find the Zima. She better help me put an end to this shadow wall.
This path leads to the heart of the Shadow Worshippers. Well, here's hoping that attacking them in broad daylight will mess up their powers.
possible.
please, look around. I'm sure you'll find something that takes your fancy. You know, Mojave is always the best value. How can I help you? The spirits whispered. We have to talk, Avenger. Avenger? Why are you calling me that? Because that's what you will do. Avenge. And who am I supposed to avenge exactly? My sister. You will kill the one named Mercy. Spirits have carried the news of her death, as well as justice taking the shape of a champion. My Avenger. Your Zima. Look. If I do that, will you help me undo the spell that he's cast? <laughs> that is the purpose of our meeting. You put me back on my path, I put you back on yours. Hmm, I don't usually consort with witches, but I don't have time right now. You're on. Oh, free at last. Mercy's arena is north of here. He will pay for his treachery. We will have to fight our way through Mercy's fanatics. Be prepared for anything in our woods. So, uh, how did you end up in a cage? My sister and I used to be the most powerful shamans of the tribe, following the shadows of spirits, the heritage of our old ways. At that chip. Emissaries? You're talking about the cult of the sleeper, aren't you? They twisted Mercy's mind, or maybe it was already corrupted by greed and thirst for power before they arrived. It matters not. Our tribe made an unholy pact with this cult. Mercy is a gullible idiot who couldn't see that it would cost us everything to bargain with the Sleeper's minions. 
you stood against his decision. We reacted too late. His mind was already filled with promises and lies. Trying to talk him out of it was a mistake. We should have killed him when we had the chance. But death is a trade of patience. With you, he will meet his doom, Avenger. Why did the cult of the Sleeper take interest in your tribe? What do they want? Psychics. We raid towns in search for these humans, gifted with a superior mind. Ideal hosts to be possessed by otherworldly entities. We provide these innocents to the cult of the Sleeper, who use them as anchors for their evil overlords. Hmm, of course. Hosts are one of the most valuable resources for cults. What were you supposed to get in exchange? They would help us purge the Daybreaker's presence in the region, allowing us to expand our territory. I see. Well, it's a win-win for them. They want the Brotherhood dead anyway. This is his arena. Go forth and execute mercy, Avenger. Such is your fate. Coming. The Shadows of Spirits did not mention me being part of his doom. You are the Avenger, not I. They have other plans for me. What plans? If I am seen killing our own leader, I will forfeit all influential power within our tribe. If I am to expel the Sleeper's influence, I must be able to rally my people. Undoing what Mercy has caused will take time, but first he needs to die. You can't stay here then. You should do your part now. We must hurry if we're to save anyone behind that shadow wall. Very well. I will work on breaking the spell while you fight in the arena. I shall meet you at my sister's final resting place. Welcome to my arena. I could kill you on the spot, but that would be no fun. Let's make you squeal first. I'm looking for Mercy. Mercy. Mercy your leader, not Mercy Mercy. Well then, you have found him. I am Mercy, a name earned due to the last word people utter after crossing my path. You shall! Whoa, let me stop you right there. Your mercy? Look, look, I mean no disrespect and all, but you do sound like a 12-year-old. They all make puns before they plead for their life. You will be no different. Now, my people, let me offer you this fool's death as entertainment. Your first challenge, our very own Toxic Master Torami. I hope you like having acid spat at your face. Oh boy, look, I already told you, you're not good at this. Send him in already. Remind our 
hot-headed friend of his own mortality. Damn it! Unleash the exotic beasts! All of them! It's not. At least you did the butcher's work for tonight's feast. Oh well, on to your next challengers. The Majorans brothers, chemistry geniuses from the Republic gone rogue. Behold! you've got. Can you not move that fat ass off your throne and face me? You, 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 your death will be horrible! Horrible! Awaken Augustea! She hasn't been fed in three weeks. I hope your flesh is tender. Come on. Oh, you're such a bar, you can't even die properly. What do you bloody want? Your head. I've no mercy for those who bargain with cults. Oh, so that's why you came here, to stop our expansion. Nothing will remain to rule but a graveyard once the Cult of the Sleeper finishes its work. Then I shall rule that graveyard, but you won't live to see it. I will put your corpse on a pike as a reminder for those who defy me. Travel through my shadows. I'll put you back on your path as you have returned me to mine. <sighs> oh no, I'm not taking that portal. Scared of shadows? Don't pretend to be wary of magic. I might not know what you are, but I know one thing. You're beyond human. I'm not scared of witchcraft. Of course I'm not. Not even a month ago I would have chopped her head off. And now I'm following a witch into her dark portal. <laughs> Where to go, ex purifier? Shadows, heed my call. Asha Morosani. Asha Morosani. Ana Matere Su. Zatare. Thank you, Avenger. Good luck saving your tribe, Zima. Save what you can, but don't hope for much. The Cult of the Sleeper consumes all. Uh, Shh! Keep it down! Are you okay? Where's the Brotherhood? Oh, they're close enough. What happened? What do you think? An endless tide of death, that's what happened. The likes of which I have never seen. Any remaining forces? 
The last brothers I saw were barricading themselves in their vault. Those that tried to fight outside died and came back as undead. Damn. I started to appreciate those guys. I guess it doesn't matter now. Come on, brother. Let's get the hell out of here. Val, wait. We can't go the way I came. A purifier army is approaching, tracking you. Huh. Better them than death itself. Come on, we'll find a way through. Val, please. Look, you weren't there. Those Brotherhood Knights? They aren't kidding. They know their stuff, maybe even better than purifiers do. An army of them fortified within their hold and protected by the power of Dawn just got wiped clean by a single cult. I take that as a strong hint that we're definitely not going that way. Wait a minute. You know that as well as I do. There's something you're not telling me. I need to talk to these guys. If any of them are still standing, I need to know. They have the answers I need. Answers to what? To everything. They might know of the origins of my powers, of my purpose. Val, I don't have the slightest clue about who I am. This might be my only chance to finally understand. Val, what do you say? I say... Sure, why not? Let's have the two of us face an army of them. The things we do for family. Val, maybe we should talk about the... Yeah! Plan. Come on, you ugly bastards! Let's dance! Ah, oh, subtle as ever. No matter the odds! Oh, you remember that? Of course. Battle of High Peak. The three of us against the world. Just as we are now. Except there's one big dummy missing. Speaking of which, any news of Edric? We'll talk about it when we get into the vault. Okay? Okay. That's not possible. some time. Until the next wave arrives, that is. All right. The area's clear for now. Let's talk. Where is Edric? He... he didn't make it. What? Why? How? Last time I saw him, he still had Maelus on his side. Don't tell me the wench hurt him. No. I did. What happened? Shortly after you killed Malus, he got promoted to Justicar in her stead. He started tracking me to bring me back for execution, claiming I was a traitor to the Republic. I tried to avoid the fight, but there was no way around it. Something got in his head somehow and turned him against us. Something? You mean Hemlock. The bastard must have manipulated Edric's loyalty to turn him against us. I don't know. He might be a harsh man, but he took risks so that I could escape alive. He gave me another chance. I know deep down he cares, or cared about us. Why would he suddenly send Edric to take me down? <sighs> it makes no sense. We were the children of Hemlock. He wouldn't want to pit us against each other. I wouldn't be surprised if this is another wicked game of his, testing Edric's unwavering loyalty. Let the stronger of the three survive, discard the weak ones. Damn, Edric. Why couldn't you see through this? Val, I know this isn't easy, but we have to keep moving. I... I know. I... I'm fine. I hate to say this, but we need to split up. If only for a moment. If the both of us go in there, more undead will pour in from the outside, trapping us. I'm not about to jump into this death trap. So, I will stay here and stop their advance as much as I can. You bring any survivors back to the light. Yes? I don't like this, but you're right. Are you sure you can hold? I will hold. I'm not giving up on you. Just like you didn't give up on me. I'll see you soon. The fabled Vault of Hope. Daybreaker's holy ground. The cult of the sleeper turned this place into a graveyard.
endurance is waning.
that's not happening. in a sanctum. This gate has not been breached yet. Daybreakers! Is anybody alive? Come inside! Quick! More will come! White's mercy! Who is he? What does he want? Friend or foe! Let him through and close the damn gate! You heard the man. Don't worry. I'm here to help. We have met before. You're the one from the Shadow Wall, aren't you? Yes, it's been breached. I've come to get you guys out of here. Valeria is up there, stopping new undead from flooding the vault. This is our chance to get everyone out. Let's go. Are you listening? You're an Ascended, aren't you? I'm the guy that wants you people to get moving. Wait, uh, what's an Ascended? The Ascended are exceptional people whose fate is intertwined with all others like them tapping into their experience, just as they tap into yours. It takes practice, but should you be looking for it, you could feel the bond with other Ascended if you meet them. You would feel our bond. You're saying that what happens to me happens to you? Yes. I'm sure your head is full of questions. I shall tell you what I know once the situation is secure. If Valeria is up there on her own, we cannot linger down here. We must take the chance she's offering us. Fine. What's the plan then? We will open the Dawn Gate and carve our way back to the sunlight. Tell my men when you are ready. You're wounded. You think you can manage? Focus on your part, and I will focus on mine. The old man wants to storm our way out. It's now or never. It won't be easy. Even though you cleared your way down here, more of them will come from the other wings. They will enter a frenzy when they feel that they can access the inner sanctum. Open the dawn gate! One with the light! One with the light! Do not falter! The searing song is with us! They're sending our own brothers against us! They are mere shells! Push them back! We made it. We survived the onslaught. Easy now. I wouldn't be so sure about that. There you go. Reform the line! Get ready! Close the gate. Dawn does not hide from darkness. 
This is our only chance to get out. There is no going back now. Bloody zealot. Your men will die for nothing. And they will do so defending what is right. As long as one of us remains, hope is with us. You will see us through. There's too many. My abilities have limits. We shall see about that. You will take what's left of my powers. Reveal your true potential ascended. Fight like you have never fought before. Use. Darkest nights make our light shine the brightest. Who oh, are coming? Stand ready! Has heard our plea. Ascend it. Embrace her lights. Seize the opportunity at her altars. One last stand with the searing song at our side. One with the light. to darken her light. Shines bright on us! Rally by the dawn gate! We are moving out in full force! You did well. One last push, and we'll be out of this graveyard.
Pantioja. You took your sweet time. Apologies, Princess. I had a few setbacks of my own. Shut up. Gather around the pyre. Her light shines through it. Still alive? Somewhat. You did well, sister. I know. Get yourself patched up and rest. I'll get us out of this. Easier said than done. Your friend is not going anywhere in her state, and neither are we. I can manage. Spare me. Your pride will only lead you to an early grave. We will get you back on your feet, but right now, you need to rest. So what's next? You bring the fight to them. You make them pay for the death of my brethren. At first, the waters of the Galatha River dried up all of a sudden. It used to flow gently from the nearby town of Helmshire down to our walls and past us toward the Galatha Falls. But before we could investigate, we got reports of a wildling army marching our way. While you were fighting them, the Cult of the Sleeper used the riverbed to funnel an undead army toward the weakest point of our walls. That's how the bastards broke in. Go upriver, reach Helmshire, and find the origin of this undead tide. Stop whatever is causing this. You and I have much to talk about once this task is done. Find Helmshire, stop the necromancers. Got it. Brother, come back in one piece. Understood? Don't worry, I'm coming back either way. Victorious or zombified, but I'm coming back. Clever boy. At least they don't expect a counterattack, let alone from a single foolish soul.
Hampshire's outskirts. Not a living thing in sight. of the sleeper turned everybody into an undead servant. The feeling of their soul magic gets surprisingly familiar after a while.
quality on this one is unmatched. of exquisite taste. Welcome to my store. Romantic ritual. Why purifiers choose to chase Val rather than clear this place is beyond me. They've lost focus on what they fight for. should we do with the bodies too damaged to walk? Master Nirakai wants us to transport them to the nearby city of Bordenon. A token of good faith towards our allies. I see. What happened to that city? The Lambach happened. The cult of the Aberrant's new gift to this world. I hear it likes to have new toys to play with. We got rid of the Brotherhood in the region. Cordenon is controlled by the Aberrant. And Helmshire is ours. Our endeavor will soon reap its rewards. Indeed. All this death and suffering will cease. Then we shall find peace. We shall all find peace.
The undead tide's origin is up ahead. And of course, what's the first thing to welcome me? A bloody sulfurous smell. I took you die down, didn't I? How much worse can this one be? your fancy. Got everything you need? Excellent. Come back soon. Hi. Uh, please don't touch anything. Seems that my troops did not get the best of you, Bane of Yudai. Seems that way. You know me. Not really, no. 
I just know that Yudai greedily tried to make you his own, underestimating you in the process. A mistake I plan not to replicate. Let us talk, mortal. I am curious about your kind. My kind? We both know that you are not part of the cattle, or you would be Yudai's vessel by now. So what are you? A half-breed? Of whom? Who made you? An ascended, whatever that may be. Do you know anything about that? How peculiar. You don't know what you are. Careful, young one. The ignorant are all slaves. You must be lost in this vast world. Poor soul. You're having fun. You die at his moment too. Remember who you're talking to. Demons don't last long against demon slayers. Isn't that how it works? Your bravery taps into the same ignorance that will see you fall. I had time to prepare while you made your way here. Let me show you. Come for... Is that... Mercy? An astute observation. The two of you have met already, I believe. Oh, come on. I killed that guy already. Death is merely a journey. Not an end. But don't you worry. You will join him. Cycle of pain awaits you. I can't do that right now. Ended. 
The flow of undead is over. not sending him there alone. And who am I supposed to send? I have no men to spare, Valeria. But we still need the Hellion back, or all is lost. What's going on? You and your powers are nothing but tools to serve his plan. That's what's going on. Valeria. We should leave, brother. Go on our way. The Republic, the Brotherhood, they're only good at sending us to die for their grand cause. Well, enough, I say. Let's make our own fate. There's nowhere to go. Leave? Where? We'll find a place far from all this mayhem! You can't escape it, all right? For what's coming, there is no hiding under a rock. You want peace? Oh, you will have peace, don't you worry about that. Just not the way you think. Genez, what's that supposed to mean? The unholy alliance called the Covenant of the Blind is trying to summon an entity named Ariman, the fallen Duke of Fury. The Blind Prince, as they like to call him, waits patiently in the abyss while the three lesser cults lay waste to three cities, channeling energy toward the ritual place. What if they succeed? Pacification. Pacification is what awaits us all. I've seen the Cult of Fury turn my strongest men into mindless thralls. They'll drain their will to resist, to fight, to... Feel anger or self-survival, it will spread to all of us should we fail to stop the ritual. The end of free will and the rise of a new mankind. United in eternal enslavement. The fear in Stormfall is fueling the ritual, empowering this Arima. Yes, Stormfall is one of the three cities that will be consumed in time if we do not stop the ritual. Each of the three cults from the Covenant of the Blind is making sure of it. Stormfall is handled by the Cult of the Sleeper. The nearby city of Cordonon was converted by the Cult of the Aberrant. And we expect the capital city of the Republic, Gehenna, to be on the same path as we speak. Then I suppose you have a smart plan laid out to stop it all? No. Not a smart one. A desperate one. I want to reassemble the mythical Hellion, the artifact that founded the Brotherhood of Dawn. With it, I will be able to conjure the power of Anathea herself, closing the abyssal portal and ending the ritual. You're sure it will work? That's the only plan we have, given the time left before Fury's ascent. Val, what do you think? The next part is what bothers me. He wants to send you, alone, to get the first part of the Hellion. Well, now that Edric is gone, I'm not losing you to a suicide mission, no matter how desperate we are. So, I'm coming with you. At least if we fail, we'll fail together. Yes? We won't fail. No matter the odds. Gunez, where can we find the first piece? It used to be held within the Vault of Hope where you found us. But after the nearby city of Cordonon got attacked by the cult of the Aberrant, an overzealous group of the Brotherhood crept into the vault and took the relic to bring it to the city and protect its population from evil. They never came back. But there is a chance that that half of the Hellion is still there. Following in the footsteps of dead men. Oh, I like this plan. Let's go, Val. The sooner this is dealt with, the sooner we go home. We don't have a home to return to. Stormfall is homey enough. If she's still standing after all of this, I'm friends with a merchant prince. Somehow. Nothing will stand in my way.
Why do you care about Stormfall anyhow? I don't know. We've been told our whole life that we were the shields of the Unseen. That our purpose was to defend mankind against the supernatural. And now that the city's on the fringe of destruction due to the Covenant of the Blind's actions, I should just let them down, even if I do have the power to do something about it? You still think like a purifier, I see. Why not? I've thought a lot about this. The Republic might be ignorant and wrong about a great many things, but the core values Hemlock and the Purifiers gave us are still worth something. Pitting your own family members against one another, abandoning your children. Yeah, those surely are great values to worship. Hemlock might have his reasons. We don't know. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Wait! Not sure he deserves the opportunity to. Get down! <laughs> Alas, the trash! Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Uh, I wouldn't if I were you. God damn it! The Fugitive and the Demon Worshipper. Time to end their heresy. Father? Silence! Why didn't you leave when I told you to? You pitted Edric against his own brother. This filth deserves neither honor nor <coughs> respect. I had no say in the matter. You abandoned me. I gave up on you in the comfort that at least one of my children would make it. It's not too late, Father. We're still the children of Hemlock. Right now, you're nothing but a defiler. A traitor of what the Purifiers fight for. Alas. Struggling for survival is a vain endeavor in the light of what awaits us all. And yet, I can't stand idly by witnessing my only legacy that matters getting its head chopped off. Justicar, free the prisoners. Grand Inquisitor? Listen carefully. You may not comprehend my actions, but such is certain. Only enslavement awaits you if you share the path of the Brotherhood. Turn back now while you still have each other. Find a quiet place to live on. Forget this life. You may taste an ephemeral peace in the next. I followed you despite the most terrible odds, sir. Everyone in this army has the utmost respect for you. But you know as well as I do that these two are traitors of the Republic. The penalty for their crimes is death. Free the prisoners. This is treason! My men and I will not betray what the Purifiers stand for, so that your little protégés get another chance, Grand Inquisitor. They die now. Stand down, Justicar. Stand down, Justicar! Soldiers, arrest and disarm the Justicar! He shall be put to trial for insubordination! Soldiers! Your judgment is clouded by your love for them. Everyone can see that. Soldiers, secure the Grand Inquisitor. I am relieving you of your command, sir. The Senate will be informed of your weakness, and you shall be dealt with accordingly. These two, however, will die this day. My axe! This is your last chance to enjoy a life far from pain. Seize it! Approaching! Get in formation! Formation! Protect the railguns! What are these things? The cult of the Aberrant! He's with them? Why is he with them?
Stay on me. I've got your back, brother. No matter the odds. I want rail guns on the two traitors. I want them dead. Purity and sacrifice. That's not happening. to break our ranks! Stand fast! Close ranks! It's not possible. the best. We're on our own now. I'm getting a strong battle of high peak deja vu here. Not a good time to be reminiscing. Keep hacking! I enjoy this way. Traitors! You corrupted Hemlock and unleashed doom on us all! That's not Drive my blade through your corrupted heart! In the name of the Senate! I need more power. Justice shall be done! He finally shuts up. He was doing what he thought was right. As long as he does it in silence, I'm fine with that. Still alive. We bid thee welcome, guests. Ugh, we forgot one. Let me pull its head off. Wait. It speaks. This one's different. What are you supposed to be? We are the Lambag, indeed. What are you supposed to be? Is it mimicking you? Learning. We would be honored to have you in our domain. To know more about what are you supposed to be. No, 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 that's not quite right. Anyway, we're just humans. 
Nothing fancy. You already had plenty of those fleeing in your direction. They are humans. She is human. You are unknown. You are precious. Precious to us. And I'm not? Charming. Well, at least it's not trying to kill us. Apologies for the misunderstanding. We will cease your existences. But we are your host and you are our guests. Come. Enter our domain, for it is full of wonders. Charming. Is it making fun of me? I'm not even sure. Let me tell you right now that I'm not comfortable entering that creature's domain. This is the way to Cordonon, and we still have to find the first piece of the Helion. We knew that the cult of the Aberon destroyed the city, so buckle up, Val, because we're going that way. I had no plans to turn back. Hemlock is this way, and I want answers. Is he working for those guys? Maybe the Lambak knows. After all, Hemlock summoned it. That's... unreal. I feel like we know nothing about Hemlock anymore, if that was even him. The bigger they are, the harder they fall.
We are glad that you chose to join us. We are honored even. What are these creatures doing? Expanding the capabilities of nearby fauna and flora. Bestowing our Lord's blessing upon this forest. Smart talk for corrupting living organisms and turning them into thralls. Charming. Who's the we you keep referring to? We are the Lambak. Lambak are we. We are one, for only the Lambak thinks. And we are many, for we became what we are thanks to the many disposable resources found in Cordonon. Resources? The organic mass you refer to as population. They... they're all dead? Some. But for most of them, they are we. They became the Lambak. I've heard enough. Can we move on? One second. Lambak, do you know anything about a warband from the Brotherhood of Dawn entering your lands? Yes, indeed. Do you want to meet them? Now part of the we? Yes, I'd very much like to. So be it. We will promptly organize a meeting for our guests. I'm not sure if this is smart. This is obviously a trap. A trap is unexpected. Do not fear the unexpected, for we will end both your existences. You will be we. No trap. For certainty. Not sure I enjoy her honesty. Her? I'm not sure her applies to it. Do not mistake that thing for something relatable. Uh, at least now we know what happened to Cordonan's population. I would say we've seen worse, but I'm not so sure right now. Let's do what we have to do and leave. Let's try not to end up like that. Forget about me, adventurer, yes? I can feel the energy. Thank <laughs> you. 
That you chose to join us. We are honored, even. What are these creatures doing? Expanding the capabilities of nearby fauna and flora. Bestowing our Lord's blessing upon this forest. Smart talk for corrupting living organisms and turning them into thralls. Charming. Who's the we you keep referring to? We are the Lambak. Lambak are we. We are one, for only the Lambak thinks. And we are many, for we became what we are thanks to the many disposable resources found in Cordonon. Resources? The organic mass you refer to as population. They... they're all dead? Some. But for most of them, they are we. They became the Lambach. I've heard enough. Can we move on? One second. Lambach, do you know anything about a warband from the Brotherhood of Dawn entering your lands? Yes, indeed. Do you want to meet them? Now part of the Wii? Yes, I'd very much like to. So be it. We will promptly organize a meeting for our guests. I'm not sure if this is smart. This is obviously a trap. A trap is unexpected. Do not fear the unexpected, for we will end both your existences. You will be we. No trap. For certainty. Not sure I enjoy her honesty. Her? I'm not sure her applies to it. Do not mistake that thing for something relatable. Ugh. <laughs> oh. 
At least now we know what happened to Cordonan's population. I would say we've seen worse, but I'm not so sure right now. Let's do what we have to do and leave. Let's try not to end up like that. He knows about Aaron and summoning. He's working with the Covenant of the Blind. He also mentioned not having a choice. Look, he's lying. He made a pact with powers he shouldn't have fiddled with. Or he's straight up possessed. He sounds sincere. I can feel that he's struggling. I wonder where he went. He can't be far.
These guys were from the Brotherhood's expedition. Well, it did say it would organize a meeting. down. Got you. Uh, I owe you, brother.
The closer we get to Cordon on, the more corrupt the environment becomes. We're on the right path. No doubt about that.
can feel it watching us. Ugh, I hate it. This is blocking our way. We must find and destroy the corrupted hearts. These wolves seem to be powered by them. Thank you. 
down is clear. Lambak hasn't finished covering these caves. Good for us. Don't get ahead of yourself. I hear spheres in the distance. I'm not sure they'll be glad to see us.
You're okay. Cordonon is just ahead, the heart of Lumbach's... There's something up ahead. Stay on your guard. Each of you has always been stubborn in your own way. Stubborn to have it your way. Stubborn to never give up. Stubborn to live. Why are you helping the Covenant of the Blind? Why them? You have much to answer for. I have warned you time and time again. I have warned you to go your own way. Not once did you listen to me. Edric died because of it, and now you're forcing my hand yet again. For how long have you been manipulating the purifiers? You overestimate me, child. I am but a thrall. Ariman deceived me. I paid for that mistake by losing most of my free will, keeping just enough of it to masquerade as a Grand Inquisitor, and for a few, as a father. In truth, I have been preparing the coming of Ariman for a time that feels like an eternity to me. You manipulated the Senate so that the Purifiers would crush the Brotherhood of Dawn's resistance against Araman. Your will was not your own. I get it. But why did you not tell us? I am but a slave. Letting you know would have only put you in harm's way. We can still free you from Araman. There's got to be a way. I'm bound to him with a pact. Something that cannot be undone. You should run. Now. 
He won't accept further interference in his plans. There is no fate more cruel than taking the life of your own children. Resist his call, father! It's pointless. I'm sorry, children. Fight back! You can resist! I will make it painless, daughter. Valeria! What are you waiting for? Do it! Nothing but a slave. Come on, then! Do it! Nothing but a slave! Enough games, daughter! Thralls deserve no family! That's not what we came here for. The Hellion first. I don't care. We have to either save or kill him. There's no other way. We will in time. I promise. He almost killed you once. You're not going anywhere near him in that state, and you know it. Val, can you fight? The human female is highly likely to die without our intervention if she further pushes her body to its limits. 
Shut up. Can you walk? I think so. All right, I will take you back to Ganes. Come. Wait. We didn't come all the way here to leave empty-handed. We're at Cordon's Gate. Get the bloody artifact. She is correct. If it is the Hellion you are after, then we happen to know its exact location deep into the heart of our domain. Please honor us and accept our invitation. We shall end your life close to we. I'm not leaving her behind. If she is a reason for you not to accept our invitation, then we shall see her home, unharmed, unchanged, weak and ever dying. Would that please you? No deal. He's not entering alone on the off chance that you might have what we want. Fine, Lambak. Show me to the Helion, but don't harm her. What? You're not truly considering it. It might be many things, but clearly it's not a liar. She stares, for two fates. The wounded female goes home unharmed, while you enter our domain to cease existing. It will be an honor. Yes. Today is a good day for all of us. Get your ass back safely, all right? Thank you for shielding me against Hemlock. You're being foolish. Feel strange not to be the fool for once? This must be where Cordonan's contamination started. You got this. Don't turn around. Okay. Don't show you're nervous. Land back! I'm coming! Wherever you're hiding! Hiding? As our honored guest, we do not hide. For we are all around you.
Get your ass back safely, all right? Thank you for shielding me against Hemlock. You're being foolish. Feel strange not to be the fool for once? All right. Must be where Cordonan's contamination started. You got this. Don't turn around. Okay. Land back! I'm coming! Wherever you're hiding!
The only thing you should share right now is the Helion.
Valeria? You're cloning Valeria! Answer me!
duda. You copied Hemlock, too. And failed miserably so far. I guess I'm next on the list. No. You and Hemlock share the same human strain, the same complexity. We failed on Hemlock. We do not want to commit energy into another doomed endeavor. Absorbing your organic mass into we will be enough for the treat. The same human strain? What are you talking about? You were modified somehow. Incidentally, your contention is impressive. Modified? By whom? Your energy signature is undefinable and absolute. As if every part of the universe were merged into it. The mere being of an absurd amount of power could make a human strain gifted with the ability to feed from more energy and replicate it at will. What do you mean by human strain? Superior beings may sometimes invest huge amounts of power to create their own versions of humans. Half-breeds, gifted with powers of their creator. Ascended. You and we are not so different after all. We both are numerous. Your human strain seems to be interconnected with each other, tapping in each other's potential to reach new heights of power. Stronger together. That's why you couldn't copy us. It seems even you have limits, Lambach. Indeed. Our honored guest. The only thing we could replicate is Hemlock's pain. A permanent suffering that could hardly be translated to words. What's tormenting him so much? He's lifted with free will, as long as he furthers the interests of the Blind Prince. Even though his leash is short, his consciousness only accumulates the guilt of being powerless to prevent the destruction of what he cares for. He's surprised his mind hasn't fully collapsed yet. But enough about him. Before we absorb your organic mass, we want you to know of our successes more than our failures. You shouldn't bother, really. We have made great progress on replicating her. Behold. Please, no. No! No! Kill me! Killing them. Luckily, we have spares. This needs to stop, Lambach. Where is the damned Hellion so that we finish this? Very well. You are close now. We will meet you there. Need more power.
not possible. that right now.
fiend falls. <laughs>
another primordial catalyst like the one below Stormfall. It's redirecting Cordonon's energy towards a conflux. Oh, hell. It's already a full power. Welcome to our personal chamber, honored guest. It is here that our creator, Asheroth the Aberrant, created us, so that we could bestow his gift on Cordonon. Please do offer your organic mass. You will be part of something much greater. Sorry to disappoint, Lambag, but it will have to be a no. You said you knew where the piece of the Helium was. I don't see anything. We did not lie. The previous bearer of the artifact reached our chamber to defy us. The relic you want joined the Wii. You may enter in contact with it once you have provided us your organic mass, for it is inside of us. You ate it? Oh, come on, Lambac. I've had enough of your games. We finish this right now!
Catalyst like the one below Stormfall. It's redirecting Cordonon's energy towards a conflux. Oh, hell. It's already a full power.
need more power. to our personal chamber, honored guest. It is here that our creator, Asheroth the Aberrant, created us, so that we could bestow his gift on Cordonal. Please to offer your organic mass, you will be part of something much greater. Sorry to disappoint, Lambach, but it will have to be a no. You said you knew where the piece of the Helium was. I don't see anything. 
We did not lie. The previous bearer of the artifact reached our chamber to defy us. The relic you want joined the Wii. You may enter in contact with it once you have provided us your organic mass, for it is inside of us. You ate it? Oh, come on, Lambak. I've had enough of your games. We finish this right now.
this better be worth it? My friend, how may I help you? Is there no other way? The more you resist our prayers, you the made longer it, it will take for you to heal. Tell me you have some good news. I got the first piece of the Hellion. Impressive. I told you. As long as one of us is left standing, Hope remains. Now, you've secured a chance to stop Fury's ascent. We almost died back there. Val, how do you feel? Mm. I'm getting better, thanks to their witchcraft. Unfortunately, resting isn't an option. We have to join my brother's garrison at the Vault of Truth, where the second half of the Hellion awaits. Once it's whole again, they will march with us on the Republican fortress of Crimson Keep. You're quick to speak of war for a man that was recently wounded. We ascended are gifted with imbued resilience. So I hear. Still, it will take more than us alone to make our way to the ritual. How do you even know the conflux of energies is inside the Crimson Keep? When my order first saw the signs of Fury's ascent, we studied them. And it led us there. You were part of the Brotherhood operation that attacked it. We didn't attack it. We wanted to approach the strange structure in its center that Republicans call the monolith and study the signs of Fury's ascent to stop the ritual before it even began. However, when we arrived, the monolith activated. Demonic spawns of Fury started appearing, pacifying Republican and Brotherhood soldiers alike and sending them against those that resisted. I managed to escape due to my abilities, but Crimson Keep fell to the pacification soon after, now protecting the ritual place and Araman's coming. Crimson Keep. We used to hear rumors about it, about this strange monolith, too. It's a remote fortress in the Northern Barrens known as the Red Wastes. Yes? Yeah, it checks out. This fortress is known even amongst Republicans for its secrecy. I'm not surprised that they were using it to quarantine this monolith. Well, we know what we have to do. Hand me the piece of the Hellion and get ready to depart. The road ahead won't be pleasant. <laughs> <laughs>